Hi, my name is Nick Ford, and today we'll be talking about nine uncommon open position major and minor chords. Sounds like a mouthful, but basically what it means is that there are certain major and minor chords that could be played in open position that are typically played with bar chords. So these would be chords like B flat, B minor, E flat, um, but they actually have really great sound to them, so I'd like to share them here. Now some of these are viewed as beginner chords because you run into them at the beginning of some of your uh, intro methods. But I encourage you to give them a chance because they sound really great and they could be a nice alternative to the typical bar chord. Muting unwanted strings is crucial here as playing an unintended string can be disastrous and sound really dissonant. We'll talk about those treble strings as we go. Okay, so the first chord up is G minor. Now G minor is typically played this way with a, with a bar chord. Okay, very nice sound, but a nice open position alternative is this one here, which sounds like this. Uh, here's the open string, here's the notes inside of it. The mutes were, uh, were muting, sorry, the strings we're playing muting are the A and the E. So if you play these, obviously the A is gonna be, we don't want that, and we don't want the E on top, unless you want G minor six. It can sound cool for that, but if you're kind of expecting, oh sorry, this one here, so, you're gonna get this sound very off. Not that it can't be played, it's just you have to handle it with care. So it's just a very dissonant sound. So you want to watch out for that top E. I like to just mute it like this. Okay. You can also, if you don't mind doing a little bar, you can do this with a bar on top. Okay, so the next chord up is E flat, and it's typically played here. I, think it, I like to call this option one for a lot of acoustic guitar players. Another option is this, but that's, that's kind of the movable D. It's a little bit cumbersome for a lot of players. So the one that I like to play is this one here. It's basically a C chord, but you move it up here. Now you have to be careful with the top open string here, the E, you don't want this. You gotta be a little careful with that. There's ways to use it again, but we wanna be careful. So if you can also play this note on top, so. you can play this and just mute that one so you get also watch out for the low E's that can be a little rough too you don't want this it's pretty rough so okay so uh, it by the way in terms of how to use this here's how you do it if I'm playing E flat 7 I can do this note as it's a basically the E or in this case an F flat believe it or not you have an open F flat in your on your guitar it's right there I can be played like this. If you're playing, you know. So in that case, it sounds pretty good because you're expecting. Or, all right, so the next two chords are sometimes thought of as beginner chords because they pop up in these guitar methods um, and are sometimes abandoned after we are taught the full bar chords. But uh, they're really great sounds. They're a little simpler to play, and they oftentimes blend very well uh, with somebody who's playing the typical bar chord. So here they are. The first one's B flat. That's your typical voicing. And this would be the alternate voicing that's simpler uh, and more of an open position kind of chord. It's technically B flat over D, but a lot of times it blends very well with somebody else's uh, strumming as just a B flat or whatever. Try that next time you have to play B flat. Uh, in terms of muting things, oh, you just have to watch out for low strings, uh, and again, that's in general with any guitar playing, uh, even like a typical C chord, you want to watch out, you, want, you don't want to be playing, you hear that a lot of times in the beginners, just open up your ears, and uh, that E is in that chord actually, but just be very careful with that one, because it can really clash, and with this B flat, you don't want an A or an E in there, you don't want, it. that's no good, so... I often sometimes say, don't, you don't have to strum every single string if you're strumming it. Just give it a strum for the four notes and then just strum the top few strings. All right, the next chord is the B minor, which is uh, typically played like this. And you can do the similar sort of thing that you do with B flat, and it's played like this. So again, this is a B minor over D, typically, but it's a higher voicing, so a lot of times it, it works with just a normal B minor, or works as a normal B minor. And as I said, with the B flat, this one blends, uh, if you're playing, if somebody else is playing a B minor, somebody else plays, and you play this, it goes together very well.
So one last thing with this too, again, watch out for the lower string. You can get away with this maybe a little bit more with the B minor, but it's still gonna clash because the notes are so low. So. You can get away with it a little bit more, but it's still not correct. Uh, the E is really kind of out there too. The A maybe, but um, probably better just to play the notes you're supposed to. Again, you don't have to hit all four strums on every, or all four notes on every single strum. So you can just. These chords also sound very good as arpeggios too, so make sure to play them that way. So for arpeggios, if you're arpeggiating these things, they can sound really cool. There's some voicings for C minor. Uh, this is kind of the typical one that's used. Or sometimes this, if you're really... It's kind of a tough one, but I, I'll like this one. And I really like this because it's, it's simple. It's an add nine, minor add nine, but it's still cool. Just watch out for the, you gotta be careful with your muting because you don't want to hit the open E. So the next chord is C sharp minor. The first option is typically this bar chord, but it can also be played in open position right here. Just be careful not to play the low A, otherwise it'll sound like A major seven, which is a very close sound, but it's not quite the same. So basically you just don't play the A here. You can also do this if you want C sharp minor seven. sound or this that's pretty neat I'm getting a little off track but a couple extra ones okay so here's with standard bar chords okay here's with the uh, the other voicings so you get Arpeggio figure. As you can see, they're um, a little bit simpler to play for some people. Maybe beginners may find this easier than doing this big jump. Uh, it also sounds really nice too, so it's, it's depending on what level you want, maybe you might do this to start to play simpler voicings. It ends up being something that sounds really good as well, so it's a good tool to have in your vocabulary. Even if you can already play this, it's kind of a way to move forward with your chords um, and get a different sound, especially if there's another guitar player playing this stuff. Uh, you get a nice blend of these two guitars. Okay, the next chord is F sharp minor. Now, F sharp minor is typically played as, an, as a bar chord like this. So what I came up with, uh, now the open string in this is a low A, actually. So that's a little trickier to employ, but uh, you can get this basic sound. You get this. I, I like this one. It doesn't have a C sharp in it, but in the right context, it'll sound like F sharp minor. You can also just play this or this. Well, something like this. Uh, Typically play like this. Or 
or this, or like this, I've seen a lot of times with beginner methods. But for me, th this was pretty cumbersome when I first started guitar, I remember that. So the one I came up with, and this might be, maybe this is more tricky, I don't know, but it's kind of a cool open position sort of sound is. So yeah, that one's muted, the G third uh, open string is muted. And finally we have G sharp minor or A flat minor. Uh, so that would be like this, uh, typically this is option number one. Uh, but you have this little option right here because um, the A, or sorry, the G sharp minor has an open B in it, so you can play this. Kind of looks like an A minor shape, but just down here. It's also uh, A flat minor, so again, this is one of those things where the B open B is actually an open C flat uh, because A flat minor is A flat C flat E flat. Um, so that becomes this, and and it. Next example, I also use this, or the example that I kind of wrote out, which is a little tricky. I have this uh, right here. Um, I'm covering two strings with one finger. I'm sort of playing in between. Uh, it's sort of a Ted Green kind of technique. That's pretty cool for this one. Okay, so here's the song that's in G sharp minor that has a G sharp minor and a B in it. And I'll start with the basic bar chords, and I'll show you what you can do with uh, some of these open position um, these uncommon open position chords, I guess. So something like this, if you have a... If you want something simpler that still kind of has the same vibe, you can do something like this. Thanks for checking out these nine uncommon open position major minor chords. Still a mouthful, but I'd appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe, and let me know what you think in the comments below.